Hey guys, this is the review of Samsung Mod 12.1 ROM on the Asus Zenfone 2. So, and this is an unofficial ROM. I'm using it from the past seven days. So you could see it's unofficial and what 5.1.1. Uh, so uh, you guys might be asking that uh, why I shifted to uh, Sanjin mod uh, because uh, the stock ROM was taking a lot of RAM like the amount of free RAM was t uh, 400 MB even though I wasn't using a single app and the uh, battery ba backup also wasn't great uh, it was like 3 hours or 3 hours to 3 hours 30 minutes uh, so I shifted to Sanjin mod and now um, I get around uh, 1 GB of free RAM all the time when I'm not using any app obviously and the uh, battery backup has also increased let me show you so you can see I'm getting a uh, screen on time of 3 hours 43 minutes and I have about 37% left so let's talk about the performance uh, so it is an unofficial build uh, so there are some bugs which are very minor uh, and which can be fixed by a reboot and there are no other bugs except this camera bug uh, the camera doesn't take good pictures I should say let me just put my Motorola Moto G's uh, shell as you could see it has overexposure and focus issues you could see so uh, if you take a lot of photos uh, the photos will not come out to be good as you could see uh, so that's uh, that's the only con i faced uh, otherwise uh, this rom is pretty stable pretty smooth uh, performs uh, every action pretty fast so let's just uh, show you the features so there's nothing new to talk about in wireless and networks let's go to display and lights and you can see adaptive brightness is uh, supported double tap to wake is supported uh, let me just show you it works pretty fine and nothing else car screen uh, works nfc also works over here as you can see nfc and uh, the theme engine is supported uh, which is the best feature so let's just shift to this Sanogen mod oneplus rom so you can see uh, wallpaper icons uh, even the status bar everything has changed so let's just go uh, into settings let's go to again status bar and you could see clock in center and the battery percentage icon notification drawer you can customize this and this tray as you could see i have only seven icons and brightness slider you can either disable it or enable it so there are not much of features uh, as it is Samsung mod uh, but it's stable it's pretty smooth uh, there are no force closes uh, or any reboots uh, so that's again a great thing and I'm getting regular updates uh, as you could just go to software update and uh, just check the updates uh, I recently got an update to this 8.0.2 version which fixes uh, almost all the bugs except this camera bug I hope this will be fixed by developers pretty soon so if you are uh, using the camera pretty often so I suggest you not to move to this ROM but if you are looking for performance and good battery life uh, you can mm, try Sanjin mod out so mm, this was a review thanks for watching and if you want any other reviews regarding this Asus Zenfone 2, uh, so kindly drop your comment in the comment section below. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos.